Take it out now. Three, two, one, go. All right, this is the 225-26 Vex game mix and match. Uh, we just got it right after the uh, big showing of the um, game, and we're gonna open it here and see what's inside. Wish we had scissors. Uh, the grand reveal. Oh, it makes a deal. <laughs> Don't do that part. Try that now. Oh, Ooh, man. There's some parts. Here. Something we noticed when we were watching the game is that there's not too many usable parts for future years. Yeah. But there are some. So wait, let's put, let's put it off the side and kind of go through each one. Okay. So first thing I notice is uh, some pins there. These were in uh, full volume, I think. You put them on the field, so this will help us set the, set the game up faster, I guess. We got some plastic sheet pins and some three by push through pins. You guys the black? There must be plastic sheets in here for the plastic sheet pins. Yes. Um, I'm gonna pull this out. All right. So a few connectors. Oh, some ramp pieces. We haven't seen those since pitching in. I don't think. Oh, yeah, red ramp pieces, oh, too. Oh, red ramp pieces. Same thing. I'm guessing these are for the corners, like the corner baskets. Oh, yeah, that hold the, uh, mm -hmm. that's pretty good. Uh, some more connectors. Uh, ooh, we have, like, a wheel sort of thing. Oh, that's oh it's a knob. It's like a knob. Oh, I've never seen that before. That. So it's a knob. I wonder what we're going to be turning. Yes. Um, more well, ramps. In, oh no, one on four. So the pin has a little like holder on the front. So this must be in the middle. So that that's how they hold on to the pin. Oh, the maybe. Um, same thing, but just for the blue mm -hmm. connectors, knobs. Okay, now we're getting into the game. Yes. Um, oh, an Allen wrench. Oh, I never seen. Look at that. So I've that must be for putting some part of it together. It must be metal. A little bit of metal in there. All right. Small so, holes. Some small tubes. And yeah. Oh, this must be for the big, tall met oh. middle stand. Oh, this is the little. This yes. is like the little thing that goes on top. I'm so it's like wrapped. Little teeny bit. Put it in here. Oh, here's the other piece. So this must go like that must go on something top of like that. that. And we have these. So that's I think they're for pins. Cool. Few others. Let's put it in the back so it's a bit taller. Okay. Some red ones. Inside. Blue ones. A lot oh. of these. Oh, what fell? Oh, some screws. Oh, screws, metal yeah. screws, and nuts and bolts. And nuts. Look at that. The first time for that one. I never seen yeah. that. That's new. Yeah, new metal. Um, so these. more of those. Yep. Look at that. Ooh, we have. What do we have here? Is this? Oh, these are like. Um, oh. These are the plastic sheets, but they're like. So colored. around around this, those are placed. I guess. And then also probably in the corners. Yes. I'm guessing. Ooh, here's here's some cool pieces. Yeah. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. So look at. So these are. What are what, the, what are like, these called? Like the one by two. I don't remember what they're called. Just as, like it a says, multi it says game card, piece on the right? side. Okay, so here. they're he they're pretty heavy. Yeah, they, but they are heavier than you think. A lot heavier than I think they'd be. Um, okay, I guess, do you want to just open uh, one of these and just, just... Just open one of them for now, because they're all the same. Yep. Here, I'll open this one. So one of the things we're kind of looking at is how tight is the fit between uh, these pegs. So, if it's loose, then we're thinking that we might have to, like, when you set it down, it'll have to, like, be a, in a pretty concentrated area. But if they're tight, then maybe you could lay it on its side so you have more... Burn room because I didn't see anything in like the uh, initial video that said you can't lay it on its side as a stack. You also have to think we haven't read the game manual. So. Yeah, we haven't read the game manual, so. It's pretty oh, loose. It's a very pretty loose fit. So very another thing you got to think about is if these are on the field. Um, these are set up like this on the field. You're gonna have to have some way to manipulate it to flip it upside down if you're gonna want to stack them on top of this. Otherwise, you, I guess you can stack this on top if you want. So I think what you do is you have like one, two, or three. And you then could have you, different colors, And too. then you go off of that. Can you make it tip? Then like, it's is upside it, down. Is it heavy? So if you put, you can put two on one side and it won't tip. But if you put three, it tips. It's a lot heavier than you think it would be. Yeah. 
Yeah. Like, I was expecting, like, a really light, but it's, like, I mean, it's not enough where it, like, ruin something, but I think it's enough where put into consideration on how much it's at. Use some sort of claw to manipulate these, because you're going to have to pick them up. We also... You know, this middle hole could be used for grabbing some of the other little finger and just kind of mm -hmm. grab Maybe. it. That, that's not a bad idea. Yeah, and then... And also, oh, I didn't realize, on these pins, there's little indents on the side, so maybe mm. that could be used for some sort of grabbing device. I don't, I don't know, but that's, that's, I didn't see that in the uh, initial, initial let's, video. Let's, let's take a look at this here. That's so the this is tower. Here, put it so I guess this attachment is the same as on all those, so it's the same. Oh, no, I think it might be looser. Oh. Yeah, it's looser. How well does it fit with this? Oh, that worked pretty well. Oh. And, then, and then what if you, like, That's did, like, wobbly. that sort of stuff? That's but can you get it to tip if you want? Like, could you stack yeah. it on one side? Mm. Uh, yeah, you're gonna get. Oh, well. I guess that's not good. It's but. you wouldn't want that. <laughs> uh, that. But that's interesting. Yeah. So. Here, we what do the bottoms of them look like? Bottoms. Just like a base. Or the bottom of the actual pins. Mm. Oh, depends. Um, it's just like. Yeah. It's, little... it's kind of like a. Well, I mean, there's two different ways to grab it. You can grab it with these little side indents, or you could just grab it from. I don't know, somehow. Could you, yeah, could yeah. you get something under it? Or what if you, like, what if you had, like, a system that, like, I don't know, like, that, yeah, like a tube that would, like, suck it up somehow, and you'd have one, and then you'd come in, and it would just, like, suck them up, and the more that they got in the field, it'd suck them up and make a step. You know that system they used to, like, it's like grab cans and scan them and give you, like, five mm, or ten cents back? Yeah. What if you did that for something like this? So you had, like, a, almost a kind of fairy, you would, like, put it on its side, and then you could, like, spit it out, like a big poop. <laughs> that's cool. But, yeah, but that's the thing. Yeah, I think you're probably going to have to stack them vertically. Yeah, we don't know if you can stack them vertically or sideways, but if you can't stack it sideways, that could be interesting. So, like, we need to read the game manual. Yeah, we'll have to read that. The scoring is also pretty complicated, I think. Yes. Um, we did take a look at the calculator just a little bit, and it looks like, um, I feels like you could maybe use this. It's like, if you had this in your robot, and then you had these, and you somehow manipulated them to flip it over, and then put these in here, and this was in your robot, so this was kind of like a plate, and you were putting everything in your plate, and then you do different colors, and then you could put this somewhere, but would that be less points than if you just had individual stacks? I don't know. What if you, like, what if, like, I were to have my, my back, and you were to, like, like, take it around, and you just, like, raise it up like that, like... See, oh, like, yeah. like a big claw back to like that. Like you have like front and back grabbing. Mm. And then what you do is you could take this, you'd be behind your back, you grab it, bring it up front, and then you have a little tube like thing, and now it tube it in. Hmm. Yeah. Like that. Interesting. Hmm. Oh wait, I didn't just realize. If, what if you did two and you upside down, so now you have more support. So you didn't have to just stack from the middle, you could stack it from the side. Like this. So now so then you can But then the thing like is that. That's but, a lot more supported. It is a lot more supported. I can see, like, can you get this to tip? I mean, it, it's it kind of sturdy. Down. Well, you can also um, stand at the bottom as well. Yeah, the only thing is, if you're gonna have to, if you're gonna have to do this, you're gonna have to have some way to manipulate two of them, right? Yes. But I don't know. Like, I guess if you do this, then you're more wobbly this way. But your your capacity is, you can hold more in this great piece. You're right. So you're, you 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 try to compromise for both. But yeah, b bigger capacity, but I guess less. I think it's safe to say good. laying it on its side will not work at all because if, if I lay this on its side and I try to move, it's it's gonna fall. So laying on its side is off the table. I also think it's probably not allowed. But yeah, it's probably not allowed as well. But um, unless you put it on, unless you like put it against the wall and be in the corner, but then you can't do anything. Maybe. Open these up. Um. It yeah, it, it's not so it's still a whole lot. So. Just it looks like the same material as like the sheet, plastic like the, the plastic sheet from Rapid from Rapid. Ooh, room. they're I think they're a little thicker actually. They're thicker and smoother. So where do those go in the yeah. game field? So I think these will go like around here somehow. Or like that. So it, it, oh yeah, it's kind of like a base. Something like that. Mm. Maybe? Something like oh, that? Oh, yeah. Like that. We have four of And then those. you got those bolts that go through there. Notice bolts. the hex you have right there on the top? 
Yeah, yeah, the yeah. hex in here. I wonder if the reason they have oh. metal bolts is because like whatever. Wait, hold on. From that, we have ran into. We have five of them. Maybe there's just an extra. Mm, I doubt there's an extra. This is pretty big. Well, I mean, you don't have one extra. I mean. Yeah. And you have blue. Bolt. And then you have the corners. So you have a That's blue corner. That's what the orange is for. Is the a corner. A blue corner. But we don't have a orange corner. You have a blue corner and a red corner, and then you like have the orange middle. Right? Oh my! Ooh. I'm screwing it up. We have so many states to go, and uh, oh, it's gonna get scratched up now. It's fine. <laughs> it was, we'll it, just peel that one. And then, yeah. So then you have these two corners. I wonder what these are for. Where, where did these show? Oh the no! So on the so yeah, you have the fields right here. These are kind of like on the side. So maybe it's like that. Oh yeah, for the goals that you have to unload. Like yeah. so, like in the game, you have these, oh yeah, like, the loader. things that you have to. There'll be like one starting on, and you have to pull them off, and it's worth points Wait, off the peg. The Wait, you, you like maybe this is like a little spot where the loader like puts a thing in. Oh, that could be. I, I wonder. Hmm. It's time to read the manual. Present. Read the manual. You know the game. Um, what was it called? In the zone. That's like really close to this game. Uh, Is that a V5 game? That's a V5 game. So, so a little V5 game in the zone. They're. It's not the exact same, but it's really close to being the it's same. Pretty similar. Like they're like the loaders putting in these. Uh, they're more cone shaped. These are. You know, I don't know if they're cones, but they're same outline. The, they, to, to me, they remind me of um, like a standoff extender yeah, or the things a, that you use in like choo choo mechanisms, like the. Um, like the thing that will have a square hole here mm -hmm. and a circle hole here, like an axle extender, I guess you could call it. But yeah. All right, I think that's, that's pretty cool. About everything, guys. I think that's pretty cool. Everything. I can't think it's of it's cool how they're just bigger vex parts like this. This totally reminds me of a one by two. I guess this would be. Although setting up the fields can be a bit of a pain. Yeah, I guess it will be a bit of a pain. But with those pegs, it makes it way easier. The thing is. I mean, we did Still kinda, better than the but, year with balls. We deserved yeah. it because we had, I mean, this game, we had to flip a few targets. This, I guess, it, it kind of makes out. For um, but I also think, like, technically, if you're stacking them, shouldn't it be easy to pick them up? Like, they're not just going to be all over, like, slap shot. They're going to be in stacks, so you can just pick up the stacks, right? Yeah. I think that the reason they have these bolts, maybe, is because, like... There's some piece that you're ramming into her. I mean, I don't well, know. Well, it looks like that central that. tower definitely needs to be affixed solidly to the field. Oh, look at oh. they're square holes. Yeah. So yeah. those holes. those bolts are meant for this. So I bet yeah. I wonder if the bolts you need to like you need to put screw on top and then you need to go under the field and screw it from the bottom. That's gonna be interesting yeah, because so I bet you me. I bet you people, No directions came in the box, huh? No directions because I bet you people Well you need to online. They they do on, online directions now. Because if I bet you people would probably ran, run into this mm -hmm. so hard that it'd knock over if they was just held in with pins. You know how like um, the older I mean, bots have like, base, a though. aligner with you, like you like a little yeah, a liner for the a liner for the middle. I feel like you're gonna have some sort of big bulky arm that sticks out. Like, I gotta feel it's gonna be like an intercom on both sides. Like one side could like <coughs> so they grab that, and the other side would like reach this. Oh. Maybe we'll see. I guess that's it. Uh, anything else you wanna say? Thanks for watching. Thanks for watching. See you at Worlds in 26. Yeah, Hopefully. see you at Worlds in 26. We'll see you. <laughs> All right. Bye, Elevations teams.